All right, this is my Tesla coil alternating power system. So it works. When, when the light's on, the system's on standby. And then when it gets triggered, you need to have a half a sensor rigged up to this. The power transfers from this memory cell through this system. So 80 power gets branched off into the memory cell. And then from the memory cell, power out, this goes to the symbol light, and then the output goes to this OR switch, this OR switch comes back to... So when this changes, it changes the output to this OR switch, this OR switch then comes and powers this memory cell, then this memory cell comes and powers this branch, which then branches out to this timer to power that, and then it powers out to this branch, and then branches out to trigger this timer and then while this timer is triggered it supplies power to the second input on the XOR switch and then this branch out supplies the other power to the XOR switch so while this timer is running for one second power cannot be passed through into the set of the next memory cell and so after a seconds up the set is triggered and then the system goes on again and again um, each for a second until it does a loop. So you can change this, you know, go for six seconds, and then it'll just loop through the test course. And the reason why I prefer looping them as opposed to having them all run at once is for damage per second. If you can burst them for a second each, and then each one of those seconds that it's doing well over 60 damage per second because so this whole switching like timer delay switching system um, costs about 12 power and then the next one it costs about 13 and the next one it costs about 14 so the 80 power into the first memory cell ends up only getting down to 66 at the last Tesla coil Even though it's only got 66 power, uh, it's not going to stop it from doing it. Like a couple, like one zap. Then. So yeah, this kind of setup would be ideal for like a loot room. You know, you come in here, you know, nothing looks suspicious. Until it's too late. See like enemy's gonna kill ya. And you come in, and that triggers and you kinda run out. But you know, I knew that was gonna happen. But you probably set these up so that um maybe maybe the middle one would trigger first and then this one and then that one in case anyone was stuck in there. come running in, you want to try to run out, you're going to have a hard time. So just a little bit more information about the system that I wanted to amend onto the video. So I just changed it so it ran the heartbeat sensor, so I had to power down the um, input slightly. So you might be wondering about this whole splitter or switch system, like, what, like what's this for? So, this timer needs this 16 power in order to power both these splitters so that um, one splitter powers out to the reset on three of the memory, sw uh, yeah, memory cells and then this one powers out into the OR switches which also powers the memory cells because in order to reset the position of the memory cell they must be powered so because when it's in series the power turns off once this one gets reset you have to repower them in order to set them to the 
correct position again so that it will again go like fire in series. So that's why that's like that. It's taken me like five amended designs to figure that out. The memory cells need to actually be powered properly. And, uh, this has been a real pain to figure out, but works pretty well. Because you know, if you just come here, oh yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. Thank you.